Uber and Lyft drivers, what's your most NSFW story? I had a passenger roll down the window and scream suck my FCK I'm dick at a deer. She said she really didn't like deer. I did a little over 500 trips for Uber last year and the only thing remotely NSFW I experienced was this really really hot girl asked me to zip up the back of her dress when I picked her up. Oh. Hu ha ha. That was cool. I feel this is the most real response in here. I don't drive for either of those companies but I had a pretty bizarre fare once. I picked up a guy and a girl midday Saturday for a short ride, couple of km. The girl seemed drugged out of her mind and was wearing somewhat revealing clothing. So it was pretty clear they'd been partying the night before. While driving I picked up their conversation which they were not even attempting to hide. It was pretty clear that the guy had a girlfriend who was not the girl in the car and that he had just hooked up with this girl. They were currently heading to his girlfriend to explain what had happened. To be clear. He is bringing the girl he was unfaithful with along to explain to his girlfriend that he just f her. He tipped well though. I was in Santa Ana. CA looking for a guy I was supposed to pick up. He lived in a large cul-de-sac with a small park in the center. It happened to be later in the evening when I went to pick him up. I go through the cul-de-sac once pretty slowly as I can't find his house. I decided to do a second round of the cul-de-sac and when I get a quarter of the way through two guys emerge from the park and one of them pulls out his pistol and asked. What the fck you doing in my neighborhood? I decide to act really calm and just let him know that I'm with Uber and was unable to find a passenger and who I was looking for. He says. Oh you looking for random name he's at the top of the cul-de-sac blue house. I thanked him for his help and cancelled on my rider. Same friend. Three occasions over a year. 1. Guy was drunk and pulled his pants off and started playing with himself. 2. Girl decided she was happy and pulled her top off for her other friend that wasn't so drunk to feel her up. Friend apparently flipped out. 3. Guy passed out drunk so he checked and his pulse was low. Took him to the hospital. Turned out the guy was overdosing on Xanax and alcohol. And he saved his life. We have a driver here who has been advertising on Craigslist and has his girlfriend ride in the backseat and arranges specific pickups so she can give you a hand job during your trip. Oh my god. That's terrible. Where though? Which city is this filthy ad posted in? Some friends and I Ubered back late a night after a party. Being intoxicated AF. My friend sitting next to me started to heave. So I. Work my quick thinking. Opened the window pushed him to puke outside. In the freezing February air. He did his duty and we were all thankful that he decided to puke outside. Eventually. We arrive by my house and get out. I look on the outside of the car and the puke had frozen all along the outside of the car by the window. The side of the car was covered in puke. We spent an hour helping the poor Uber driver clean it. At least you helped bro. A few months ago this lady came into my car whilst busily talking on her phone. Yeah you can't tell anyone on the team yet. No no. I haven't told anyone at all. I was secretly eavesdropping. As I usually do. Trying to figure out what kind of job she had. The details are kinda gruesome. The poor thing was lying there for a while after it happened because there was no one around. These bastards took everything from her and tried to steal her car but they apparently ran over her and they just booked it. Her body was practically split in two under one of the wheels. It was only a couple hours later someone saw it and called us. She was still alive when we got there. Hey listen I gotta go. We'll talk more soon. We had reached her destination. Church. She got out of the car with a quick thank you. If it counts. 20 plus years ago I drove for a sedan service. I picked up one of the temptations and took him to get to drugs and a hooker. It certainly wasn't safe for my work at the time. But everything worked out okay. He came out of a luxury resort and gave me a sketchy address. When we arrived. It was an abandoned convenience store. So he told me he was looking for some company. Yeah. I knew where to find that. And along the way. 
He said he was looking for some medicine. 2. So we stopped in the ghetto and got him something to smoke. Could have been weed or crack or anything. I don't know. And I didn't ask. After being told FCKU. Cop more than once. We found a pretty young lady of the evening. He asked where she's been all night. She said she's been right there waiting for him. She got in the car. They kissed and groped in the back seat on the way back to the resort. And he gave me a decent tip. INB for the inquiry. No. Well. There was the guy who proceeded to get butt naked in my back seat, while piss drunk, and change into a teenage mutant ninja turtle costume. It was Michelangelo. For the record. Not an Uber Lyft driver. But I did drive for a taxi company. I had a fare where two drunk people who were making out in the back of my cab. This isn't unusual on its own. Happens quite often. Just gotta stop them before shti gets out of hand. Well. One of them decides to stop making out and says to me don't tell anyone. Okay. Full stop. Curious. I ask why. He responds we are cousins and we don't want our family to find out. Then they went back to making out again. I didn't once think they could have possibly been cousins. Never saw either people before or after. Could have just kept his mouth shut and I'd never have known. Why would you disclose that information to a stranger? Couple role playing exhibition incest fantasy to spice things up. So my dad is an Uber driver and he says that girls my age, I'm in my early 20s, will drunkenly try to make him go home with them all the time. One time there were three girls who drunkenly were singing to Taylor Swift and they made my dad record them singing the song and then they made him sing some of the lyrics. He showed me the clip of them singing and him singing later it was hysterical. Then they invited him to go to the next bar with them but he had to keep working. Also one time an Uber driver told me a girl tried to drunkenly make him hook up with her at her house. But he said no cause he's married. And when she got out of the car she gave him the middle finger and turned around and lifted up her mini skirt and flashed him lol. I guess Uber drivers get lots of ladies. My dad is also an Uber driver and has similar stories about girls my age. I'm also early 20s. And I'm just like why don't you tell them you have a son? My two stories would have to be a lady who was kinda drunk and kept asking me questions and moaning slightly every now and then. When she got out of the car. I checked the back seat and there was a sharpie. A sticky sharpie. That was obviously used for something. The other was two strippers that had a long ride and kept daring each other to flash me. Give me a back rub. Suck my earlobe. That progressively got to the point where one dared the other to hook up with me when we got to their house. Edit. Yes I hooked up with the redheaded stripper. I had recently broken up with my girlfriend and it was a real ego boost to feel wanted like that by someone that hot. I thought it was implied sorry for leaving people hanging. I picked up a client who said he was on his way to the hospital to get something removed. It was very clear by his movements that he had something stuck in his ass. I asked if he needed an ambulance instead but he said he didn't have insurance so he couldn't afford it. After I dropped him off and helped him in. I got back in the car and looked back to find a blood stain on the seat. The morals of the story are 1. Comma if you're poor. Don't shove things in your ass that can get stuck. 2. Come and never get light grey upholstery in your new car. Seems like the moral of all this is that if you are an Uber driver, then you should cover the entire passenger section of your car in disposable plastic. A mate of mine drives Grab. Which is basically a Southeast Asian version of Uber. Once picked up a guy and three girls. Turned out the guy was a pimp and the girls were hookers. And the four were being tailed by the cops for illicit prostitution. And my friend was forced to involve. Long story short. They got stopped by the cops and my friend explained that it was his birthday and they were going to an orgy for his birthday. And no. No orgy for him. He did get a nice tip though. Edit. Picked up a handful of drunk high school kids at 2am. They just finished their graduation party and they were hammered. One of them threw up in the back. We had to stop on the side of the highway for him to get everything out of his system. 
He went behind the bush and did a number 2. But he didn't have any tissue. It was fking disgusting the whole way. Puke and shti are a surprisingly nasty combination. Comma puke and shti are a surprisingly nasty combination. That doesn't sound very surprising to me. I picked up a drunk couple from a bar. As soon as they got in the car. The woman was telling me about the cocaine they just did in the bathroom. She then went on to tell me that she was his maid and they were F king and his wife didn't know. She would wear the wife's lingerie. Also. She was screwing around with the wife. I was taking them to the guy's secret apartment where he did cocaine and screwed his maid. He felt a little bad for me. So he gave me all the cash that he had as a tipper $7. I guess he spent it all on coke. Not a driver. But I was having a smoke out front of my apartment when an Uber pulled up with a girl in the back seat. A neighbor from down the hall I recognized. Who was screaming at the driver and refusing to get out of the vehicle. It sounded like she didn't want to pay him for the ride. It was demanding her cash back. Which didn't make sense to me because Uber isn't a cash service. When she started hitting him. I phoned the police. 15 minutes later they showed up and she still hasn't left his vehicle. The cops drag her out and arrest her. Turns out she gave the driver a blowy on the way and thought that would get her a free fare. And was more than a little upset that she still had to pay. Girl never looked me in the eyes again when we passed in the hall. I'd drive for Uber if it meant getting paid to get blow jobs. My friend told me about a couple who got into his car. They were slightly drunk talking nonsense to each other so he didn't pay much attention. Just kept driving and occasionally checking on them through the rear view mirror. Eventually the girl got quiet so he checked in the mirror and didn't see her. And my innocent friend thought she was asleep and even laughed about it with the guy. Well. Not long after that he passed a speed bump and heard the guy saying oh shti. At the same time a gurgling sound was heard and a smell of booze plus sour filled up the whole car. So yeah. The girl was sucking off her boyfriend whatever. The speed bump caused her to deep throat and vomit all over the back seat and my poor friend still had to drive around with a vomit smelling car. At least they rated him 5 stars. Only ever Ubered once. Picked up a couple that had been making out as I pulled up and the entire time driving she kept saying how they were gonna smash. Do definitely got lucky that night. Edit. I don't understand any of these Becky references people. Just a group of college freshman girls being super racist as I drove through the ghetto on the way to their house party. Had a passenger talk in graphic detail to an ex about how mad she was that she had f him and how she had put his whole dick in her mouth. She repeated the whole dick in my mouth part at least 10 times. I know a girl who calls Ubers while drunk and if the guy is hot bang them at her place. So if you drive for Uber you might get lucky. Comma if the guys is hot. Looks like I'm out already boys. One time. I was in a lift during a blizzard. We arrive at a couple of lanes divided by one of those flat concrete medians. Both lanes are gridlocked. Lift driver goes watch this. And drives up the fking median while the cars on both sides honk furiously. I protest. And he brags that he is a big man in the city and the cops won't touch him. Anyway. It's not an erotic story. But I'd say it was definitely not safe for anyone involved. Picked up a couple from a fancy hotel party at around 3am. The girl was a short latina with dark hair wearing a really short dress. Two minutes into the ride he asked me to turn the music up. So I obliged and that's when I started hearing faint moaning noises. I looked at my rear view and sure enough. He was paddling her pink canoe. We locked eyes and I told them just not to make a mess. Guy gave a nice tip, not his, after I dropped them off. This wasn't me. And it isn't NSFW but I think it's worth sharing. One driver told me that one time this guy got in his Uber without putting in the destination. This guy was in his mid 40s. Wearing an all black suit and wearing sunglasses. Didn't take them off. He also had a briefcase that he put on his lap. Anyway so he sits in the car and points forwards. So the driver takes off. They didn't speak the entire journey. It was about 40 minutes. 
to tell the driver where to go the passenger just pointed left or right. Anyway. The driver tells me that he was shitting himself the entire time and genuinely thought he was going to die. But was too scared to stop. So finally they pull over at this really big old house that he described as the most mafia looking house I've ever fking seen. The guy takes off his glasses. I once worked for both companies on the same day. A couple of clients I once had entered the car convinced they were straight. And left 25 minutes later realizing they were gay for each other. To be fair they were fairly drunk at the time. Oh and the NSFW part is that there may have been some fingering involved. But out of embarrassment I didn't bother to confirm. Edit. I honestly didn't expect to have to clarify that they were women. As many of you have pointed out. Girls can be gay too. And loving the suggestion for me to initiate a PRNO scene. But I like to remain professional at all times. I'd share more stories. But I think I'll just wait until this question gets recycled in a couple of months. Dude. What if we kissed right now that'd be so gay? Wasn't really NSFW but on my second day doing Uber one of the clients was on house arrest. Dave. Dave was a cool guy. He wanted me to buy him some wine and smokes from the gas station. He even trusted me with his card plus pin. When I get back I decide to just have a smoke with him. That turns into us doing takei in his backyard at 2am. Really cool dude Dave was. Hope he turned his life around. Picked up a group of young ladies during a bachelorette party. The bride to be sits in the front and while driving to their destination. She rolls down the window and whips out a giant DLDO for all of downtown to Chicago to see. Got off my shift at work. App designer in his early 40s picks me up to take me home. We're shooting the shitty on the way and he asks me if I smoke. Which I do. I invite him in to smoke a bowl and the next thing I know this dude is grabbing a half ounce from his trunk and sitting in my backyard smoking me out for a couple hours. Now he's my drug dealer. To make conversation I always ask my Uber driver if they have any horror stories. One guy told me that he picked up this couple in all black clothes and he admitted he felt a little creeped out by them. It was the middle of the night and they had asked to be dropped off at a cemetery. He thinks perhaps they live across the road or something and tries fails to make conversation with them. He drops them off. Looks at his phone. Then looks back and they are nowhere to be seen. Disappeared. He stayed for a few minutes looking to see if they would pop up anywhere but they never did. Freaked him out big time. One 15 year old kid got caught with over 2 pounds of pot in my car after I got stopped for speeding. I've done about 1400 rides for Uber and about 500 for Lyft in the last 8 months. I've had a few good stories. I've had 2 puker so far. That's probably been the most unpleasant part of my job so far. As far as NSFW. Would be the 2 women passengers in the back seat. One was pretty sober and the other was very much not. The drunk girl. Who sounded like she eats cigarettes. Decided she wanted to demonstrate what her August MS sounded like. Complete with writhing around in the back seat. My car is not very big to begin with. Me and the sober girl thought it was pretty funny and even though it was a pretty short trip we were given a pretty convincing performance. Not a driver but last summer my friend and I very drunkenly flashed our Uber driver on the way home from the bar. Driver was cool. Though. Edit. By flashed. I mean I whip my boobs out. <laughs>